Hello. I'm going to be doing a thoracic and lung assessment. And during this assessment, I'm going to be speaking to our patient, Mr. Shirtoff. However, I'm going to be talking out loud as to what I would be charting. So some of my comments will be directed at the patient. Some of the comments will be the items I would chart. Normally, I do not tell the patient all the things I'm charting. So please pay attention as I do this. Um, this is for instruction use only. Okay. Knock, knock. Come in. All right. Hi, Mr. Shirtoff. My name is Sheila. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, Sheila. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Um, I would love to do a lungs and thoracic assessment on you. Would that be all right with you? That's fantastic. Okay, great. So first, um, I have two, a couple questions for you. Have you ever been a smoker? I have not. Okay, and then have you ever had some type of respiratory illness like pneumonia or COVID? Uh, back when the avian flu was, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, possibly could have been diagnosed with that. So I've had some respiratory issues since oh, then. Oh, okay. When you say respiratory issues, what do you mean? Sometimes I wheeze a little bit, so I have an inhaler that helps me uh, open up uh, Whatever needs to be opened up. Okay, so, so it does what you expect. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Um, so if you don't mind, I'd like to have you remove your shirt. Sure. And we'll go ahead and start the assessment. I promise it'll only take a couple minutes. All right. So the first thing I want to do is just do an inspection. And, you know, I notice you've got some, it looks like maybe some scratch marks on your chest. Yeah, unfortunately, we got two beagles at home that... Uh, like to jump on me at uh, the beginning of the day. Okay, all right. So those heal up pretty well. Thank you. Okay, great. And I notice a little bit of pink color up here. Is that irritation? Is that bad? That's from working out yesterday. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm going to just go ahead and look around at the other side. And I'm not seeing anything that is unusual. So the next thing I'd like to do, Mr. Shirtoff, is um just gonna take a look at your chest while you're breathing just relax and in my mind i am counting for 60 seconds i want to see the rise and fall of the chest i'm counting the respiratory rate it's difficult because i don't want the patient to change their respiratory rate i'm also noting that the respirations are easy and labored the rise and fall of the chest is symmetrical, meaning it's even. I don't see any bulges or retractions, which would indicate some type of distress. Okay. And if you don't mind, can I ask you to stand up? Okay. So was there any issue with you standing up? I got bad knees, but no. Okay, so you're, you're standing um, and sitting just fine in a relaxed, your arms are down at your chest. I'm just looking in the front and the side, and I'm, notice, I'm noticing the ratio. So in my charting, I put interior to interior posterior to transverse ratio is less than one to two. Um, so we're looking okay. One to two would be normal, and you are normal. So go ahead and have a seat. Um, actually, no, I'm going to have you stay standing if you don't mind. You're a nice, tall guy. So next, I'd like to go ahead and just palpate your chest. Would that be all right with you? That's fine. I'm just going to gently um, press on your chest with my fingers. And what I'm feeling is for any lumps, bumps, masses. Have you noticed anything on your chest? Not at all. Okay. And I'm going to ask, do you mind turning around? Sure. Okay. I'm just going to feel on your back as well. Okay. And again, feeling, I would say, negative for any lumps, bumps, or masses on the back. Okay. Um, and if you don't mind, while you're standing um, with your back here, I'm going to go ahead and put my hands on the back of your chest. On your back here. And I'm going to press push up and in. I want you to take a nice deep breath for me. Deep breath in and out. Okay, so a little movement there. I was looking to make sure for symmetry, I'd say this is a sy symmetrical movement. 
All right, so if you don't mind, please go ahead and sit down for me again. I appreciate you getting up and down so mm -hmm. often. All right, so the next thing I'd like to do is I'm gonna start listening the auscultation part. So during this time, I'm just gonna ask if you would breathe in and out through your mouth for me. Okay. okay. First, I'm going to listen on your throat and just go ahead and breathe in and out. Thank you. Now just in and out for me, in and out through your mouth. Sorry for pressing. I want to press firmly, but I'm not trying to hurt you. Very nice and clear. Regular rate, nice and clear. Um, I don't hear any adventitious sounds, so that's great. I'm going to ask if you don't mind standing up and turning, just so we can get a good look at your back as you take your deep breaths. All right. When you're ready, in and out through your mouth, please. Very nice. Go ahead and stay this way. Thank you for being so patient and taking all those breaths. So here is where I'm just going to note for the purpose of education. When we're looking at um, listening for the different types of breath sounds, we're going to notice up here um, and down the center, middle of the chest, the center area here is where we're going to hear our bronchial vesicular sounds. Bronchial fascicular tends to be a, a moderate um, tone, a moderate pitch with mixed, um, mixed sounds. And when I listen on the outer area here, considering the periphery, this is where I'm going to hear my vesicular sounds, which is going to be my low pitched, soft, like rustling, um, the wind rustling through the trees. So if you don't mind, Mr. Sherdock, go ahead and turn around for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. On the front here, in the tracheal area, we're going to hear bronchial sounds, which are going to be high-pitched, loud, harsh, tubular. In this area here, we're going to hear bronchial vesicular. Again, those are mixed. Um, this would be your moderate pitch. And then in your periphery here, this is where you're going to go ahead and hear your vesicular sounds which again are those low pitch, um, soft, like just the wind through the leaves. Um, and that is going to conclude our assessment today. I appreciate your help, um, Mr. Sherdock, helping us understand a little bit more about lungs and thoracic assessment. All right, and that's it. Thank you. Okay.